Wealth Building Secrets for Real Estate Investors. Welcome to a brief review on the webinar on Is Your LLC Toxic? by Aberi Okoye, CPA. The Wealth Building CPA. Aberi Okoye is a CPA, an active real estate investor, and founder of Wealth Building CPA. She owns real estate investments in five states across the eastern coast. Her company has helped over 5,000 people, like you, prepare their taxes online and offline. Her greatest joy comes from helping clients, friends, and associates become free of financial stress. Contact her at one 502 or online at www.wealthbuildingcpa.com or via email at info at wealthbuildingcpa.com. Your LLC is toxic if it does not shield you, causing your personal assets to be totally exposed. You therefore are not protected from legal actions when you should. It is not the size of the entity, but rather the existence of complete and proper documents which provides the protection from personal liability for the LLC members. Toxic LLCs do not properly deal with bottom-up creditors, has a claim and or gets a judgment against the LLC arising from the acts or omissions of the company rather than from the acts or omissions of a member, manager or employee, as well as top-down creditors, gets a judgment against the member because of the member's acts or omissions rather than the acts or omissions of the LLC, its managers or employees. It does not save you in taxes when they should. Having certain tax elections and tax matters in the operating agreement and other LLC documents can generate for you yearly tax savings you didn't even know about. It does not defend you against the IRS when they should. IRS auditors typically examine LLC legal documents to see if they support tax deductions and strategies. If they don't, you are out the deductions and a lot of money. It does not prevent legal disputes with partners or others when they should. Having the proper language would do this and save you from costly lawsuits. It does not give you important operating guidelines for successfully running your business when they should. LLC documents, especially the operating agreement, should also be your roadmap to help you implement a profitable real estate business. Are you getting the best tax advice possible? In short, most LLCs simply do not give you the significant dollar-saving benefits that a well-designed and documented LLC should give you. You may be asking this, I'm only a small operation, do I need all of this? The answer is, absolutely. Even more so because there is this basic rule of entity protection. The smaller the entity, the more the need for such complete documentation. By having LLC legal provisions that may not pertain to you, at least for now, shows your meticulous attention to formality and gives your LLC the definite presence as an entity apart and distinct from its members, operating as a separate legal entity, with a life of its own difficult for any court to pierce its veil. The bottom line benefits, you protect yourself against demons such as money lust lawyers, wrongful creditors, IRS, and the like, saving you from having your valuable assets attached. Where do I go from here? You need a real estate operating agreement. The operating agreement, or OA, is the nuclear LLC document. It is the heart and soul of the LLC. The OA should be the most powerful OA and adaptable in all 50 states. It should be specifically designed for your real estate business so that the LLC's specific business purpose is clearly defined. Importance of having a specific business purpose. Most OAs do not state a specific business purpose. To the contrary, the specific business purpose should be explicitly stated to make it legally clear to the members and, if necessary, to third parties. I recommend OA and other LLC documents that are specifically for real estate. Not only does this aid to successfully accomplish the LLC's intended business purpose, but also has other advantages such as avoiding the costly tax status of being a dealer. A good operating agreement should have complete legal protection, should be very lengthy, at least 100 pages in length. A good OA should contain over 240 legal provisions that cover every legal facet of your real estate investment operations so the LLC is an entity separate and apart from you. That is, the affairs of the LLC are not yours personally. Consequently, these provisions will give its members, and you, limited liability protection, therefore making it very difficult for any court to pierce its entity veil. As a result, your personal assets are protected. 
avoid disputes. Included should be special provisions to help prevent legal disputes with partners and others. You avoid expensive trial lawyers and the courts. Comprehensive tax saving provisions. There should be at least 10 tax elections to give you favorable tax results that save you money. Tax elections and matters. Tax elections are special tax law provisions that are usually favorable to the taxpayer but which generally have to be made within a certain time period and in a certain manner. By having them in the OA, you have a reminder checklist so you don't forget them. Or, in case you do forget, you have excellent support in that by having the election already contained in the OA, a legal document, the election is timely and properly made. Also included, there are certain tax elections you should avoid in order to audit-proof yourself against the IRS. Does your CPA work for you or the IRS? The OA should also contain 35 tax matters, all backed up by an arsenal of complete tax law, which authorize 35 powerful tax reduction strategies specifically targeted for real estate. Included should be special tax provisions that authorize and support fully deducting real estate home study courses and live seminars, along with related travel, even if you do not own any properties. This is often a troublesome area with the IRS, now resolved with our authoritative LLC documents. Business Planning Tool. A good OA should also act as an operating guide to enable you to effectively operate your real estate business. So, does your CPA work for you? or the IRS. The Ultimate Wealth Building Plan. We want to help you build real wealth. Here's some information on our very popular wealth building plan. Stage 1 Focus. Financial Needs Analysis Questionnaire. Stage 2 Focus. Tax Planning and Preparation. Stage 3 Focus. Entity Structuring and Formation. Stage 4 Focus. Business Registration and Bookkeeping Setup. Stage 5 Focus. Business Analysis Meetings. Stage 6 Focus, Investment Property Purchasing. Stage 7 Focus, Retirement Planning. Stage 8 Focus, Year End Tax Planning. Thank you for attending the webinar. You can contact us to get more information from Aberio Okoye at 1-888-502-3767 or online at www.wealthbuildingcpa.com or via email at info at wealthbuildingcpa.com.